I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website, at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You just hit the, oh, I see. We put the Tigers then up. Oh, I got it. Okay, one second. You go into newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call, folks, right on your left-hand side. You just hit that button. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for a year for $593, which is... You get it for a year for $1,195, which is the same as the $593 or 33%. All come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. In Basil's case, he's got about 10 to 11 great webinars out there. You want to understand how to ride this wave, folks, and ride this market? Check it out. Great newsletter. Basil Chapman, what a trip, Hi, huh? <laughs> how are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? I'm good, you know, considering what happened in the in the two weeks that we've been looking at this since I uh, got a buy signal on the Dow down at about just under 33,000. Uh, this is remarkable. And as you know, in the wave, we're always looking for a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode. And that implies at least four higher peaks going to a, a leg D to a peak D. And here we are with a high today of 35,372. We're a little under that right now. Uh, the last high that was made back on January the 5th at 36,952 was a peak D. So I'm always very wary when we get there. But uh, one of the things that I, I think is quite fascinating is that you and I last week spoke about all the different divergences, positive and negative, and even within sectors, um, there are mixed, uh, there are really mixed uh, signals, and that this is a period where if you can identify the tide, I always talk about the tide, that is, if you can identify whether you're going up to high tide or you're coming down to low tide, that's really important because it allows you, when you're trading with the tide, if you are wrong, you're wrong just momentarily because the tide is going to get you back on track. So what's really important here is that Although this is a fantastic move from the 32,272 low back around about the 24th of February, um, in terms of the waveform going to a peak A, then a B and a C and a D, normally you would see a much bigger uh, move in each of the legs to the upside. So what I'm very impressed, we, it's the monthly chart in all of these instances that's going to be really important. How to be closed Thursday at 4 o'clock, because you know between now and then is a lifetime in this market. So far, I like what I see. Everything's moving just the way we wanted it to. But, you know, there are a lot of extraneous events that, that could change change the trajectory. So when you were talking about, I've got here, uh, let me, I haven't shown you this for a while. I've got this. This is a Chapman Wave automated um, support and resistance levels. And you can see here in the Dow, 35,561 is the next level of resistance. Uh, over here on the left, you can see there were uh, 35,900 and 35,700, and then we turned, uh, turned around. Uh, even at the top, we made that top at 36,000, uh, right there, 36,952, you had two um, resistance levels just above it. So how we how we get above in the next, not just the next few days going to the end of the month, going for about two weeks, if there's any chance of the Dow getting into the 35,800s, 35, that is really considering what, and this is what I've been talking to you about for some time, to consider all the things, the negative things, and this is including oil at just record highs, uh, the wheat going to record highs, and uh, the war that's going on, uh, the interest rate factor. Look at this, the Dow, 36,952, this is the monthly chart. Make a peak E, we go under the 14 period moving average, and at this very moment, which is what, 3.23 uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday the uh, 29th, so far, this candle looks good, but what's even more impressive, and I think you alluded to that a little earlier on, that it, it, the S&P, look, the S&P 48.18 down to 41.14, and here we are at 46.30. Um, I, I, 
I don't know who could have thought of that when you were coming down and just two and a half weeks ago when things were looking so ugly that so far this month we could have this kind of a mood. So I'm not arguing. We've been long, only got long positions. We have, um, we actually have a couple of uh, very low price stocks that uh, I said, besides the triple digit uh, positions that we would have, I also want to have single digits because they can give you very nice percentage gains if you're in the right sector at the right time. So we've got one that's up about 5% today. So it's, it's very selective. Some, some stock, you know, when you, look at, um, when you look at some of the brokerage area, not all of them are, are participating. And I usually like to think that the market really moving sharply would have um, the brokerage area moving very, very well. So there are some divergences, but I, I, I like what I'm seeing. If you look at the daily chart of the Dow, the MACD is very strong. It hasn't even started to turn down yet. Stochastic's flat at 97.61. That is fabulous. That's superb action. And as long as it stays flat and holds there, that's a big positive. On balance volume is lagging somewhat. So that either is a very big positive because you have to wait for this blue line, the on balance volume, to go all the way to the top to get oversold. That would be a big positive. Or it's just telling you to be a little careful. So at this point, I'm thinking of it as just confirming that we are moving higher. So the day, the nine period is over the 14. We're way above the 200 period moving out. There are a lot of things to like here. And under these conditions, to actually have this kind of a rally um, for any of the bears, this must be an absolute shocker because uh, it's this quick for sure. Straight line and, and that, move, man. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, but not only that, in a certain way, they correct in thinking negatively. But they're not th correct in saying it, it impacts the market negatively because the market right now is actually shrugging off all the bad news. I think that that's usually a very good sign. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. I mean, the, you know, but you had the leg down. It, and the most deviant thing my take is that it go all the way back up and then it blows off. I mean, you know, it, not, it doesn't have to blow off top. I'm just saying that this is what markets like to do, which is pretty wild, man. You know? and, and the other thing is in Chapman methodology, we're always looking for leg D uh, in a buy signal to buy mode. And this is still a leg B, a peak B in the S&P. And wow. that says we should somehow go above 48.1862. And that would be a very big positive for the monthly chart. That will start leg C. And it should still be a D. Ride them, like, baby. Like Ride them. I love it. <laughs> Basil, thank you so much. Look forward to the show thank tomorrow. You, Thanks, thank man. You. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.